Hello, welcome viewers to my channel. We are continuing the tutorial on coordinate geometry 2, which is the circle. Then we are on the seventh episode. And under this, we are continuing with the conditions where you are asked to find the equation of a circle. In this condition, you are given three different points on the circle. The previous condition is that You'll be given the center and a radius or a center and any point on the circle but here no radius but three points on the circle now this will be achieved if we are able to say that each of the points that are on the circle will satisfy our world general equation of a circle meaning if i put in the point the first point into a general equation of a circle, the left hand side should be equal to the right hand side. Likewise, the second point and the third point. Now, so we know that let the equation of a circle be, let's say, x squared plus y squared, 2gx, 2fy plus c equals 0. We can use other, the, the other formula that give rise to this also but here so for the point negative 2 and 2 by substitution whenever i see x i put negative 2 whenever i see y i put 2 so that is going to be minus 2 all square plus 2 square plus 2 g negative 2 which is the x plus 2 f 2 plus c that will give us what zero now let's find negative two square and that will be four this will also be four this is going to be negative times positive will give you negative four g two two will be four plus four f plus c equals zero if this is an equation with unknown variable we maintain them and send the uh, constant to the other side that become minus 4g plus 4f plus c that must be equal to the sum of this which is 8 crossing to become what negative 8 the three are known so we label this as our equation one so for the point two and two substituting that into our original we have 2 square, 2 square, 2g, x is 2, 2f, y is 2, plus c equals 0. And with this, you will still have 4, 4, and that will be 8, 2 over 4g, 2 over 4f plus c equals 0. Maintaining the unknown quantities down, 4g, 4f plus c, when you subtract 8 from both sides, you have minus 8, and that gives rise to the second equation. Then for the third one, negative 2 and negative 4, by substitution into the same formula, we have minus 2, 4 squared, minus 4 all square as in these two then we have 2g x is minus 2 2f y is minus 4 plus c that will also give rise to zero let's perform the arithmetic this will be positive 4 this will be 16 positive this will be negative 4 g negative 8 f plus c that equals to zero we have i think let's summarize this before we give the equation to it maintaining the unknown quantities that will be negative 4 g minus 8 f plus c equals to this will give us 20 when it cross it become what minus 20 equation 3 so now we are going to solve equation 1, 2, and 3 simultaneously in order to find the value of G, F, and C. So comparing equation 1 and equation 2, 
I need to see whether I will add or subtract to eliminate some of the variable, right? So this we are going to subtract equation one, equation two. Let's see. It. So let's have equation two minus equation one. Equation two. So four g minus minus four g. And that will give us what? A positive 8 G. 4 minus minus 4. That will cancel to give us a positive. Then you're going to have 4F minus 4F. I believe that to be 0. C minus C. That will be 0. Minus 8 minus minus 8. That will be minus 8 plus 8. That will also give us 0. So this is going to be 0. Dividing through by the coefficient, which is 8, that gives rise to g being equals what? 0. Meaning the value of g will be 0. So now let's compare equation 2 and equation what? 3 together. So what do we do? Okay, let's take equation 3 minus equation 2. 3 here, 2 here. So minus 4. Minus what? 4. That will be minus h g. Minus h. Minus 4. That will be minus 12. So minus 12. F. C minus C. That is gone. Minus 20. Minus minus 8. That will be minus 20 plus 8. And that will be a negative 12. So we have equals to negative 12. So what do we do? We are going to find the value of g, which already we know. We put in here, the whole of this becomes what? Zero. So we are left with only the negative 12 f equals to negative 12. Okay, so now we have negative 12 f equals to negative 12. That implies that dividing both sides by negative 12 leave us f to be equals to what? 1. So now we know the value of f. We know the value of g. We are looking for c. So we can substitute that into any of the equations. So putting that into equation 1, I'll be having 0 going here, 1 going here, that we are going to have. So minus 4, okay. Put g equals 0, f equals 1 into equation 1 so minus 4 g is 0 4 f which is now 1 plus c equals to what minus 8 i believe this will give us 0 here we are going to have 4 plus c equals negative 8 subtracting 4 from both sides c is going to be negative 8 minus 4 which will be negative what? 12. So now we know in the beginning we have the general equation, which is going to be x squared plus y squared plus 2gx. So in place of g, we are going to introduce the value of g, which is what? 0. Meaning the whole of this is going to be 0. Then the next factor is 2fy. Well, we know the f in this case as 1. So 1 times 2 will still give us what? 2. So I will introduce my y. Right? Then I add plus c. Well, in this case, the c is minus. So we have minus 12 equals 0. So the equation of the circle, which has uh, three points, negative 2, 2, 2, 2, negative 2, and negative 4 will produce the equation x squared plus y squared plus 2y minus 12 equals 0. I believe the concept under this is also clear. Finding the equation of a circle whereby you are given three different points on the circle. Don't forget, what are we doing? We are only trying to say that all those points on the circle has to satisfy the general equation of a circle. Thank you for watching. Share.
and uh, comment if this is your first time subscribe to the channel click on notification bell to receive more notification thank you for watching bye, -bye.